And what's up again, everybody? Welcome into our last race of the evening. Let me get this all paused up and some music going here. And we got ourselves yet another good one, because you totally didn't hear that audio cut, right? Yeah, totally. Anyways, let me flip this on over. We got ourselves your Oakland Raiders representative, 17 Puffins, going to take on Moscow, your Dallas Cowboys representative this evening. And again, Moscow looking to get himself over 500 for the first time since near the beginning of the season and get himself right into the thick of things in the playoffs uh, contention. Again, 17 Puffins technically just got himself eliminated last night, not through no doing of his own, mind you. But again, got eliminated uh, last night because Vendorth has won his division outright. And again, with enough losses, that actually might keep him on the outside looking in. So no chance to win his division. Can still barely get to that sixth spot, but it's going to take a lot of straight wins here. So again, these two are on a call. Let me get you a link into their channels here. Hopefully I updated this. I forgot to see. I think it did get updated. Yes, it did. Okay, cool. There's a link into Puffins and Moskill's channels side by side. We're going to do a best two out of three race using Isaac and the same save file for both of the racers. And again, there are seven banned items nobody's allowed to pick up on the way down. All of the items are unlocked. This is a Platinum God save file they're both using. So there they see, you cannot take Dr. Fetus, Epic Fetus, Ipecac, Dead Sea Scrolls, Holy Bible, Toothpicks, or the Shovel. And again, Toothpicks you can take if you want, or you can reroll them. Completely up to the racer's decision on that one. Excuse me. And again, most glitch is completely outlawed. Again, if it only benefits the racer, it is outlawed. You have to have some form of risk involved with it. And again, this is why I ask our racers to be ready before the race and not have to keep resetting like this, because we're just going to wait for the start here. They're on a call together, so they'll do their own start once Moscow actually comes across the room he wants to begin with. Alright, Moscow finally finding one here, so we're going to get off and rolling again whenever Puffin's in here ready to go. And they're in a call together, like I said, so hit up that split link and go visit them both. Wish them both good luck. And like I said, best two out of three through the womb, too. So whoever gets that mom kill first will get a point. We'll reset them, add that point to the bottom of the screen, and start all over again. But again, whoever gets those first two wins is going to be your winner here tonight. And Moss looking for that uh, sixth victory of the year. Let me make sure I got his record right before I start quoting incorrectly. He is 5-5, five and five, so yes, Mosk is looking for his sixth win of the year here. And had to make sure I was right on that. I was pretty positive I was, but yeah, it's a little late in the season. I'm going to screw up a few people's records from time to time. <laughs> yep, everybody can support whoever they want to. That's the beauty of them having uh, team representatives, and also let's say that one of your favorite racers is, uh, or casters, I should say, is racing. Feel free to root them on. That's your complete choice on that one. Again, just as long as you're basically not like being a douchebag to the other racer, like, I hope he dies. You know, if it's, I want this person to win, awesome, that's fine. Just don't be like, oh, I hope that dude dies, you know, and it's all good, seriously. Like, we're as long as we're good-hearted, we don't give two craps. You can root for whoever you want to. And it gives you that two different ways to do so. Like, let's say that you're an Oakland Raiders fan. You just found 17 Puffins as the guy you're rooting for. Say you're a Cowboys fan. Moscow becomes that person. Let's say you know who Moscow is, you're rooting for him. Or you go to Puffin's channel all the time, you're going to root for him. Same thing. <laughs> Haku, congrats on the win, man. For those who don't know, Haku got a win earlier tonight, so very nicely done, sir. Yeah, but then what? But then what? <laughs> so, yeah, they're both looking at their item rooms here, so we'll find out what they get momentarily. And here we go, because I can see Moss Counter actually moving. So that was the only way I knew that we were going to be off and running exactly at that point. Here you see uh, Puffin's going to wind up resetting. We got Demon Baby for Moscow, though, on the right side. Again, we saw that passed up by Logcat earlier. Anything that gets close enough to it, it'll automatically fire. You don't even have to be shooting. If any enemy gets close enough, Demon Baby will do it for you. Here's where you have to be careful. Sometimes it'll take out TNT barrels and things of the like, like you just saw in Moscow's room, so you have to kind of be careful and give a very wide berth to those. 
We got Book of Belial for 17 Puffins. He'll be off and running with his run and on into his boss fight as well. Exact same boss, exact same room. Time and a half damage multiplier, though, for 17 Puffins on his tiers with that Book of Belial usage. So he's going to catch up to that uh, damage percentage. The Moskill's already rocking at 50% here. <laughs> you cheer for the boiler hype. There you go. I like that thought, Casper. I like that. All right, damage increase on the pentagram. Also, more chance at a uh, devil deal, excuse me, for uh, Moskill, and he'll be moving on down to the second floor. We got Squeezy for 17 Puffins, fire rate increase, and two soul hearts for him. And again, likewise, on down to his basement, too. Yeah, tears fired. Tears fired. <laughs> All right, speaking of tears fired, into Golden Poop on Moskill's side. So again, he got a bunch of money out of that. One of two options, either get that or a counterfeit penny trinket out of there. Judgment card on uh, 17 side. He'll hold on for a little bit. He only has one penny, and that will spawn one of those judgy beggars. So he'll hope, well, or that could actually be a demon beggar as well. One of the demon judges will take half a red heart at a time, so you never know which it's going to be. It's just random dumb luck. <laughs> never mind, nothing lost. <laughs> Cyber. I like that attitude as well. Seriously, sorry about that, but thank you, sir. And again, Moss gone into a uh, curse room here. Gonna break out with one extra heart on this. So again, you take half of damage going in, another half going back out. So half of that soul heart gone, and only one half of one of his red hearts gone. A lot easier to replace than the soul hearts, keep in mind. There's that split linking up for you guys. Go visit 17 Puffins and Moss Hill. They may not be able to see much of what's going on in chat while they're racing. But again, in between races, definitely hit them up and say what's up, and good luck to them both, if you would. All right, Steven getting ripped apart here by Moskill. That'll give him one of two items, either the follower Little Steve with homing tears, or even more damage up with a tumor. And, and not quite as lucky, the usual item, Little Steve. So that follower with purple homing tears, a devil deal. And let's add some more damage, possibly. Yes, he will take the mark. So Moscow going to grab a little bit of damage increase, replace one of the red two, or two red hearts that he spent with one blue soul heart there. But again, more damage up on his tears. Also has that pentagram rock, and remember. So speaking of damage up, a little bit of damage up and range increase. That is Miss Mark for 17 Puffins on that Jesus Juice. And same decision. He's going to take the mark out of his Devil Deal for two hearts. Same damage up and one Soul Heart for him. So looking kind of similar here. Speaking of red hearts, how about that Yum Heart on Moskill's side? Would heal you once every four rooms for a full red heart. Again, he'll leave that behind in hopes he finds something he can reroll into something a little bit better. Again, for anybody wondering, D6 is off limits except against the seven banned items. So even though that's not the greatest items, Moss just going to leave it behind. Uh, soul, or internal heart, I should say, on 17 Puff inside. He'll take it now. He's got that heart and a half of blue hearts protecting it at the moment. If he were to take that onto the next floor or somehow find a second one here on this Caves 1, that would turn into one more full red heart container, which would only be his second, so that could be huge for him. And again, immediately finding his boss fight as well, so time advantage 17 Puffins at the moment. We'll see, is he just going to bother? He's not even going to worry about the item room. Speaking of which, uh, Caves 1 item room on Moskill's side, even more damage up and one health back on that odd mushroom, so even more tier damage. And look at this, he is melting stuff here. That is a nice build for the Caves 1. Speaking of boss fights, he's also come across his. So wow, these builds and these runs right now. <laughs> this is going to get interesting, guys. This is going to be good. So into a storm, Moss going to grab one key to replace the one he spent. Might as well take that matchstick. More chance of bomb spawns. Uh, 17 Puffins finishing off Chad, picking up a little Chad once every four rooms. That'll spawn one red heart container, or one red heart I should say for you. Half a red heart for that matter. Uh, tuh, that devil deal. Tough call having to leave behind that guppy's paw. And it looks like Puffins will... He was thinking about going to grab that item, but will just head on down to the caves too and keep that momentary advantage on Moscow. Who's going to grab himself one cube of meat to orbit around blocking shots and yet another devil deal with guppy's tail and that same book of Belial. 
Um, that damage is... Yeah, he's thinking about it. Nope, Moss gonna pass on it, though. Ooh, he has another chance. Nope, he had to second guess himself for a second, but he'll be on down to the caves, too, both with expansion catacombs versions now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see, there's that charge back for 17 Puffins on his Bookable Isle, so it'll be time and a half damage multiplier for him again. Moss just left that behind in his Epa deal. Also left behind Guppy's Tail, which, uh, excuse me, Puffins also saw available to him. That would have given him a lot of extra locked chest spawns. And again, with uh, very few keys on both sides, one and two respectively here for Puffins and Moskill. And a little bit risky on both sides for that. See you, okay, so have yourself a good night. And thank you again for that link. Because I actually did check that out earlier while they were live. All right, let's get a judgy please from Moscow. He's got hopefully plenty enough money where he should wind up with something. We wind up with infestation on uh, Puffin's side that I never did mention. If he gets hit, that gives him a uh, 100, well, 100% chance. It's still a chance, I guess. But uh, gonna make him spawn one of those friends till the end flies that you see floating around him. Ah, a little bit of health up, so thank you, judgy. And Moscow will be moving on now with three red heart containers. Alright, 17 finding his boss fight here for the end of Caves 2. One more soul heart, thank you very much. Might as well check our curse, or our uh, challenge room, I should say. Nothing too good with that great chest, so moving on along. Mosk also finding his item room here in Caves 2. And, oh, why not? How about another follower for more damage up with Robo Baby? So, you see the laser tear that's going to clear to the entire other side of the room as long as nothing's in his way. And again, finding his boss fight to end off the Caves 2 is only one room behind 17 Puffins right now. Who against Puffins got that time and half damage multiplier, fighting Carrion Queen, who you have to hit either with bombs that she'll wind up eating or get really lucky with them and hit in the same spot that your tears have to hit, that one off colored section at the end. Mosk fighting himself the Fallen at the end of Caves 2, much luckier here. He's going to get a guaranteed Devil Deal item at the end of this fight. May also get a Devil Deal or God Room itself, but freebie item at the end of this out of a Devil Deal pool. A little bit of range up for Puffins, they'll be on down to the depths slightly ahead. And let's see what Moss gets here. Oh, Guppy's head. Very nice. So that will spawn uh, three to seven, depending on uh, what random luck you have in the room. Three to seven attack flies, and that respawns every single room. So there's a few of them there. And you see they home in and do a uh, damage multiplier based off of your tier damage. So they're even more powerful than Moss tiers, believe it or not. So lots of extra damage increase on his side. Yeah, choo choo, we got a follower train. And again, in this nasty room, Puffin's gonna take that time and half damage. Might as well make sure. Oh god, those masks just cornered him. Oh boy, that's nasty. There we go, down to half a heart though. Whoa, those flies were keeping that bomb right on Puffins. That's one of the worries that you have with those friends till the end flies. Again, those were from infestation on Puffin's side. And again, they will move bombs, and at the worst times, they will drag them after you. Very nicely cleared, though. Puffin's gonna get into that item room. Still rocking just half a heart, though. And now the peeper as well, so that's gonna pop out one of his eyes to float around the room and damage anything it comes in contact with. You'll notice Puffin's gonna hope for a heart out of these poops. Pretty low percentage chance that that'll actually happen, but you never know. Sorry. <laughs> Crazy. I'm sorry. That sucks. All right. So still doing well there. Is that uh, spawned by Little Chad? Thank you very much for that. For heart. I think Puffin stopped to actually lean back and kiss Little Chad on that one. That was thank you, thank you. He's gonna breathe a little bit easier in this room. And 
Both making pretty good work of the steps one floor, though. Back down to half a heart on Puffin's side. And which way do you choose? Uh, let's try upwards. Ooh, no such luck. Although, a temperance machine in the room, so that, along with one bomb, although you gotta make sure the peeper doesn't move it as well, that will also move your bombs. Ooh, and a free dime. Why, thank you. But hopefully we get some parts. Ah, at least half a heart, so Puffin's gonna breathe slightly easier again. Again, Mosk with only one penny, not gonna bother with that judgment in the center of the room. Same theory as to why Puffins is holding onto his judgment card. Doesn't have enough money to play that yet. Speaking of that, though, 17 coming across his boss fight here for Depths 1. Moss getting his boss fight as well, though no item room yet, so we'll have to see what the decision is. Do you go back and find that, or is he happy enough with this build? Hey, you think you die a lot in Isaac? I make the dumbest decisions. Trust me, I die just as many times as you do. And there's our answer. Mosk is going to go find that item room. Getting plenty of keys, and he knows exactly what direction to head. Might as well give it a shot. Hopefully it's really soon. Yeah, not too bad of a room here. My TV turns itself back on. I'll be able to see what's going on. Oh, Puffins. Ouch. I just saw that now. So Puffins got the oh-so-fun flash glitch of, eh, what rock? You didn't want that. Oh, God. Yeah, he wanted that heal. Oh, jeez. Bloat. Really, dude? Really? That was lame, dude. Oh, my God. What a way to die on Puffins' side. He was walking up to what should have been the safe area where he knew he wasn't going to get double brimstone, and how about that blood spawn directly under his feet? Ugh. Puffin's down and back to the beginning, so Moss now a large time advantage on his side. Ugh, was that trolly. That was one of those Isaac moments that you just can't do anything about. All you do is shake your head, grin it off, and just go, well, that was a thing. <laughs> Freaking game. <laughs> All right, so speaking of item rooms, Moss finally finding it here. And again, made the good decision to go find it. We got Dueling Demon Babies now as Puffins picks it up, and he'll be starting off on this run. We also had Peeper on his side, but now Moskal has it as well. So again, now that eye floating around will do damage to anything it comes in contact with. <laughs> Dem Demon Babies. I love this thing, and I'm, I'm, I, which reminds me, I gotta ask Logcat what the thought was on leaving that behind. I'm assuming that it's that he doesn't like the item for the fact that it can kill those bomb flies on you and really hurt you sometimes. Oh, Moscow's heading right back over to kill the boss, actually. Purpose of the game is basically you're trying to run away from your mom who's trying to kill you. And I'm being serious on that. Uh, it sounds like a trolling answer, but I swear to God, that's a legit answer. Uh, so what you're doing is you're burrowing underneath your house, running away, and you're coming across, like, all sorts of nastiness on the way running away from your mom, who's one of the boss fights. Uh, Mosk was heading there, but he wanted to get, there's one item room per floor. And the more and more of those items that you get, the better and better you build your character up to be. And there's 200 random items. Uh, so it's not exactly a guarantee that you're going to get something that, like, oh, I'm now the most overpowered guy on Earth. But it gives you a very good chance at it, so Mosk was looking for that item room first before he went to the boss fight. And as you see in that boss fight, how about a champion Mask of Infamy? So he had a lot of extra health there on that heart, which was also shooting out those four homing tears. Good news is, Peeper will hit it no matter what direction it hits from, as will Robo Baby with those piercing laser shots. So Mosk isn't even worrying about getting behind this thing, and he's just letting Robo Baby do all the work for him. Again, Puffin's looking for that same item room. There we go. That's the room I'm talking about. Those locked yellow rooms give you one free item in there. You have to spend a key to get in. But again, gives you a little bit of an uh, increase of some sort of stat, perhaps. In this case, we got the Razor Blade. Would have been a space use item, replacing that die that he has, the D6. And again, doesn't want to do that. It would have damaged him to up his damage for the room. And not necessarily cosmetic. And some can be just flat-out cosmetic. All right, very nicely done. Moss getting through that Mask of Infamy fight on down to his depths, too. So again, one last item room to find and then Mom's foot to deal with. And again, every room you see is using that guppy's head, which was one of those items that he grabbed. Excuse me again, sorry for the hiccups. But again, that's spawning uh, those attack flies for him, which again, take his damage off of his tears and multiply those and home in on enemies. So very, very useful every room, at least three of those for him, which is great extra damage. 
yeah, Flash is what, uh, by the way, this game is produced in Flash, which has a lot of errors with it. And you'll see a lot of crazy stuff happen because of the programming uh, language or code or whatever you want to refer to it as. So a lot of craziness happens. It's really mostly just the fault of the programming language. So when they're remaking this game, it's called Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, it'll be coming out sometime at the beginning of next year. And it's actually going to be written in C++ instead to take care of that problem. Also going to be released on quite a few consoles. So keep a heads up for that and it should take care of a lot of these issues. Ooh, speaking of issues being taken care of, damage increase with the pentagram, more chance at devil deals. Also that half an eternal heart, the half white heart for Puffins. Notice just became his, uh, excuse me, his fourth uh, red heart. So again, if you find two on the same floor or take one to the next floor with you, you get that full health container. There you see exactly what uh, Doctor's Remote will do for you. One-time use of Epic Fetus, and Mosk was trying to get himself into a possible seeker room, but does not exist there, believe it or not. That would have been my first choice, too. So apparently it's up on top of the room that he just left. Either way, though, try to get himself a free entry into one of those. Not going to bother with it now, and he's just going to move on along looking for that mom's foot fight. And again, Puffin's playing along and uh, catching up quickly. That cherry card will give him Moss' favorite item, the Unicorn Horn, for seven seconds damages anything and is invincible that he happened to hit. Boy, did I just dyslexia that. Damages anything that he happens to hit and is invincible during the duration of it. There we go. That's what I meant. I heard myself say that wrong and continued with it. <sighs> Gonna be one of those nights, guys. Anyways, Puffin's finding that boss fight again here, so we'll see if he's willing to skip over the item room knowing that he needs to make up time because Mosk has found both a judgy, so let's get a judgy, please, as he's gonna gamble some of his money. And also his uh, boss fight, so real quick, he's going to explode that. There is good reasoning. You saw the three free bombs that he got from it. Two increased, obviously. But also gives you more chance permanently throughout the rest of the run of getting yourself a god or devil room. Yep, there's a couple levels after Mom's Heart still. And a couple different directions you can go, for that matter. Uh, so you can go to Shale, you can go to Cathedral. And uh, if you take out Cathedral and you've got the Polaroid... Uh, that will also give you a way up to the chest, so technically three other levels after Mom's uh, heart. God, remember the days where Polaroid wasn't guaranteed at the end of this fight that Moskull's taken out here for uh, Grey Mom? Oh, were those bad. I remember watching Lethal Frag go through entire nights trying to find one Polaroid to get to the chest. Ugh, those were not fun nights. I mean, they were. That was cool times watching it, don't misunderstand me. But at the same point, the amount of times that that would not spawn. And thankfully, that's guaranteed now. Moss going to leave it behind because, again, we only race through the womb, too. So there is no need for it. And there's those crowns. Yeah. <laughs> I love the one the motion shows as well. Another fine choice there. There's those yes crowns. <laughs> oh, sorry, that one caught me off guard. But I can't help but laugh at that choice. I love it, though. Great choice, motion. That to King. The King has left the building, baby. <laughs> but he got a little bit of money up for uh, Puffins, and he is down to his Caves 2 boss already, so he's making up some time here. But again, you see Moskal internal compassing himself, like we uh, like to call it, Casper, cough, cough, right on over to his boss fight. So looking at what, all that it's going to take to finish off this Womb 1 floor, there are no item rooms and no stores. Whoa. That was instantaneous that the uh, daddy long legs disappeared. I seem to remember him taking a few extra frames on that, but wow, he does not want to be on screen. Somebody's scared of Moskill's tears, me thinks. So daddy long legs, there we go, finally showing back up. And you see people going through it at very opportune time, doing tons of damage. A little more health up and that other devil deal for Mosk. Ooh, with the two other guppy items. Oh, God. Do you do it? Do you do it, guys? You're going to have nine lives at one red heart and those two soul hearts. I'd, I'd do it, personally. I would take this full-on guppy opportunity. Moss deciding, and wow, this is not an easy decision here, but I would do this. I would take this in a heartbeat for the overpoweredness that is guppy. It's still a tough call, though, so I'm not blaming Moss for this time he's taken. That's a tough decision. I and mean, that is a little bit of a risk, but at the same point, you are very overpowered as full guppy, and I get the feeling he's going to do it. Yes, he is. So here come the two purchases. You're fine. Yep, there you go. So there we are. He's going to take guppy's head on with him. 
Oh, look at that. We have a full gummy. No, take the head. Take the head. Oh, that's right. He has a strength card. Aha. Totally didn't even see that. Great choice, Moscow. Didn't even see that. Good move on his side. He used the strength card to give himself plus one to all of his stats in that room. Used up Guppy's paw, gave himself the one red heart that he had from the strength card as three soul hearts. And it can't replace those or get rid of them, I should say, when you leave the room. So Moscow got himself three extra hearts there. He grabbed him in the wrong order, yeah, I'll agree with that. But at the same point, it works out fine. All right, so full on Guppy, you can see those heart or those flies, not those hearts. Those flies are not just spawning from Guppy's head. Those also are coming from Moss Tears. The more and more that he fires, the more and more of those flies that actually wind up spawning. So he's got flying ability. Notice he is just at blue hearts right now. And again, he's really going to wish that he had uh, uh, taken the uh, Polaroid instead of keeping Mom's Pearl. Mom's Pearl, more chance at soul heart spawn. So maybe we get lucky and he gets a few extras. But he wishes that he had the Polaroid. That would have been a permanent chance, or a permanent every time that he got hit. Five second damage shield. Notice though the damage he's putting out. Ooh, might as well. How about, uh, well, he overspent on hearts anyways because of that strength card. So that proves that other point for everybody. Mosk overspent his red hearts when he used up that strength card red heart. So he picked up the, uh, excuse me, that uh, Balchinian. Notice he did not gain a red heart here. That's because he had overspent technically in that devil deal. So the game remembers and it will charge you that heart. So Mosk is back even now. If you were to find any other health ups, he would show that red heart. Actually, I take that back. Is he still minus me? So he's even now. <clears throat> Either way, though, finding his mom's heart fight, still those four hearts and nine lives left on his guppy. Also going to get the two of clubs, which will double up the amount of bombs he has. So 18 now going in, looking a lot better than he was even with just full guppy. So look at the amount of damage he's already rifling through Mom's heart here. Yeah, now he's at zero red hearts, so next one would have actually given him a health up. Again, going to be kind of moot point, though. Already at the 50% mark is Moscow. And about another two of clubs. That would again double up the amount of bombs he has. 30 now. Again, took a little bit of damage to grab it, but I don't think he's worried. Already at the below 50% health on Mom's heart now. And again, each one of those flies a damage multiplier on what was already a nutty build. So this looking like it's going to be over within mere moments here. One pot shot by Mom's Heart, no such worry. And we got ourselves a one to nothing lead for your Dallas Cowboys Moscow, ladies and gentlemen. So very nicely done, sir. And again, moving a little bit closer to the, uh, the playoff situation and above 500. One game closer here. So one to nothing lead. Uh, <laughs> now that's posing, ladies and gentlemen. Draw me like one of your French unicorn. Hmm. Yes, do it. No, I'm kidding, obviously. One to nothing lead from Moscow, though, like I said, in this best of three. We're going to run a couple minutes worth of ads, get both of these guys reset, and uh, let me get you a link into both of their channels here. Go say what's up, and good job to both of our racers. There's a link for you. Say what's up to 17 in Moscow. I'll be right back in about two minutes while they get reset, guys and gals. Hang tight, and we'll get round number two underway momentarily.
All right, well, ah, God dang it. Hi, welcome to my shirt. Again, this is called hitting the wrong buttons. Oh, hi again, cat. Cat wanted to say hi to everybody real quick. What's up, Spaz? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. I say hi. You really want up on this chair, don't you? I want to see round two, human. Human? Let me see round two. All right, on that note, let's flip this back on over. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Nom, 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 kitty with banana. So, on that note, like I was saying, where are you at, cat? So on that note, we got round number two just about to begin. Give me a second to get the cat. Oh my god, are you heavy. So we got Moscow with a one to nothing lead right now for 17 Puffins on the uh, left hand side. And again, Moscow gonna look for a two to nothing win here. 17 gonna look to even this up and force a game three if he can. So again, they're on a call together. Let me get you a link into both of their channels. And the cat's saying hi now as he's smacking the microphone away from me. Damn it. Stop. Stop, Cat. Thank you. <laughs> okay, like I said, on that note, they're going to be taken off momentarily. Or they're on a call together, so feel free to head on over to that CatGuard.net link. Say what's up to both 17 and Moscow, if you would. And wish on your favorite racer. All right, we're off and running, so a little bit of range up. That's a reset, no question. And that would have been homing bombs and five free bombs for 17. He's going to reset that as well. So both looking for another good starting item here. Yeah, black bean, how about those poison farts? Yeah, I didn't think so. So 17 gonna reset that. He thought about it for a second. Moss gonna reset the lard. So that would have been health up on his side. Yeah, well, he considering it again. Now he is gonna reset. All right, Book of Shadows on the other hand. Oh, well, that's another reset apparently, I just saw it. So that would have been 12 seconds of invincibility for Moscow whenever he used it. Okay, that worked out well. It's a stab party on the left-hand side, or right-hand side. Wow, dyslexia for cure found. Moskill's on the right with, this, with the knife. Oh my, check out this damage. And we got Robo Baby once again, so both racers off and running. We got a follower with those laser tears for 17 puffins. Mom's knife, though, that stab party on the right side for Moskill. So both into their first boss fight. And you're gonna see uh, Pink Widow get absolutely smoked. Sorry for the noise when my cat smacks the microphone like he just did. And again, a little bit more damage up and range increase with that uh, Jesus Juice. That is mismarked on Moscow's side. So we'll be moving on down to his basement too. Couple extra rooms on this with Curse of the Lost. Hey, what's up, Shiba? How you doing? All right, Puffin's also finishing off Duke of Flies. Wire Coat Hanger will give him a fire rate increase. So he'll fire out more tears and also be on down to his basement, too. What's up, Morals? How you doing? All right, Mr. Boom going to get left behind by Moscow. That's a one-time uh, space bomb. Space bomb. Space use bomb. Let me try that again. Oh, God. Yeah, we're going to explode space. Check it out. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but a space use bomb item. One time use on that. Get okay, a recharge every couple of rooms, but basically not a bomb itself. Uh, let's see. We got Forever Alone Attack Fly for, uh, for 17 Puffins once again. So another quote unquote follower, more like an orbital of sorts that's going to do a ton of damage to anything it hits. Absolutely kind of crazy. There you go. It's a supernova, man. It's made of champagne. There. Oasis fans, anyone? Right, I'm sorry, I'll stop. I'm a child of the 80s and 90s. Ooh, not so many good pills there. He'll take a bad trip with him, O Moscow. And again, that as at low health will turn into a full trip. Er, full trip pill. Full trip, man. It'll turn into a full health pill at low health for you. Because again, as Isaac or anybody basically not blue baby or in blue baby mode, pills cannot kill you. And there you see that attack fly doing some wonders there. Puffin not, Puffin's not even worrying about taking any damage. <laughs> Drugs are bad, okay? <laughs> Alright, we got Famine once again. We all know what to do. Let's greet him with an oh-so-hearty... <laughs> Just like you would do for us. Mm. 
Ooh, almost went on without grabbing that uh, one cube of meat. So again, Orbital on Puffin's side, gonna block shots and damage anything he walks it into. Curse of Darkness as it gets down to Cave of Swans, so again, no mini-map, as opposed to Moscow getting to see his entire mini-map at the moment. And let's see, which way to check? Let's try upwards. And there's that boss fight, so we'll see, will Moscow bother with the item rooms here? Mom's Knife, pretty much a nice enough game-changer, but we'll see, he may still want his items. Pretty easy floors, and you might as well grab them if you got the keys. And lo and behold, only one more room to clear. That worked out very well. So there's your answer. Yes, he does want it. And yeah, I am, Kyle. All right, 10 more bombs on his side. So again, moving on with 12. Moscow head right on over to that boss fight, and he'll be done with his caves one. Oh, maybe not. And wants an extra room cleared here. He has more than enough money, so there's that store. And why not? Two or three free bombs out of that room. Ew. Well, better than nothing, we got the ladder for Moscow. That'll get him over one spot openings. Again, just like in the uh, the cross in the center there, if Moss didn't want to go all the way to the top, or in this room, could have just ran straight across because of those one spot openings. And both going to fight Gertie here at the end of Caves 1, so talk about being in the same room at the same time. Again, you see Puffin's putting to, uh, putting to use that attack fly, making sure it stays in Gertie to do all the damage he can, because that knife on Moscow's side... Basically doubling up your tier damage, so he's ripped right on through already. Alright, let's get those yes crowns again. So about 7 more cents for Moscow. Back up to 14. He'll be on down to the Caves 2 slightly ahead of 17 Puffins, who's finishing off Gertie himself. And gonna get the uh, coin purse, so 4... Ooh, jeez. At least we got two of the same pills here. Puffin's going to grab the blue one. Ugh, fire rate down. No thanks. Two bombs or keys. Those will switch out your bomb and your key total. Uh, bad gas. That one-time fart. And, ooh, telepills putting Puffin's in some random spot on this floor. So, ouch. That may have backfired a bit time-wise. And Moss going to grab everything he can here and head on into his curse room. Yeah, three attack flies, absolutely. So again, those will be a damage multiplier. Grab himself his heal back out of the center of the room, and immediately find that Caves 2 item room. Although no key to get into it, so again, Moss going to head right on back along here. Again, Puffin's digging his way out of that dead end he teleported into. There's that item room, though, if nothing else, so at least something good came out of that teleport. So Puffins will get this item here in Caves 1 that I was worried he was going to skip over. Add-on's basically just permanently active, is all it is. You'll see, like, if somebody gets timed out, there's, uh, in that gear, uh, there's a couple of different options in there, like being able to see deleted messages and, uh, uh, hiding custom emotes and such. Uh, basically, it's all up to you to choose what to do, though, but look at that gear down by the, uh, chat button. And, uh, that's basically where all your options are for it. But it's pretty much permanently enacted. Again, it's, it's your choice of how much actually gets thrown in there, though. All right, Puffin's finally back on over to that boss fight, and he'll be heading right on down, like I said, to his caves, too. And again, Mosk also finding his boss fight here for caves, too. So again, in that Curse of Darkness, he'll head right on in and fight Chad, which again will spawn Little Chad for his item. Every four rooms, he'll get half a red heart to spawn. It's a little good, or good little way, I should say, to heal for Mosk. There's that little Chad. Will he head on along? I believe so. And down to the depths is Moscow. So again, that time advantage gives him about a full floor lead here. Also getting a loading screen error. And again, yes, his timer is still moving, so that is just flash loading. Will he get that XL floor, though? Usually what you're hoping for when you see this. So let's see. Bloody Penny on Puffin's side that he's going to take. We'll give him a chance that as he picks up coins, that'll spawn half a red heart as well for him. Do, 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 do. Hey, Flash. Anybody got the Jeopardy music thing uh, cued? Do, 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 Wow, seriously? We're going to get through the entirety of that song at this rate. There we go. Now it's flashing through. So Moss finally going on to his depths floor. As long as it doesn't loop him. Okay, we're good. So on to the depths here. And immediately on into another curse room. 
right, that would take a couple bombs to get into on Puffin's side, so no thanks. He'll leave that judgy behind and right onto his item room here for Caves 2. Yeah, that was an odd one. Like, it does happen. Like I said, Moscow has a pretty good computer, so it's not like that was just like, oh, yeah, a crappy computer means flash lag. It just happens. Honestly, it just happens. I've seen it happen on my, like, beast of a computer rig, so, I mean, it's gonna happen. Flash is flash. And especially if you're broadcasting, too, it just takes even longer. So again, believe it or not, you do not get piercing with the knife. I'm serious. You do not have piercing ability with them. So Moss using bombs against these guys. Again, you can throw it from the side, though. Same as your tears or behind from those uh, knights. So as weird as it is, I don't know how the hell you don't get piercing with them. You would think that would make sense, but nope, you don't. So that knife is useful, but not that useful. Ooh, Starscar, teleport to an item room, or do you just take the boss fight as Moscow? Ooh, lots of extra money. Uh, yeah, that's a teleport. And free bombs out of it, so five free bombs with the remote detonator. To leave the actual item itself behind, but you get to keep those five bombs. And again, not that far away. He's gonna just have to clear one room and he can be back on down to that boss fight. Puffin's loading into his depths level as well, getting that same flash error, so let's see. Maybe XL floor for him. And again, full on hard heal for Mosk. Along with even more money. Where's that store at? This became a very viable option. Yeah, I'm not going to wait for the Depths 2 on that store, it looks like. And he's going to head right on over to the boss. No, you actually don't get piercing on it. Because if you did, you'd be able to throw your knife through the front of those, uh, of those knights right there. Doesn't work that way. So no, you don't get piercing on it, believe it or not. Again, if you stab just like you're seeing right there and you do like Lockhab was teaching us this year and like shimmy it back and forth without actually throwing the knife, it will break through that mask. So technically, yes, on that aspect you do, but you have to be very good with it or barely throw that knife. Yeah, throw it from in front. It hits only on the way back. Trust me on this. You don't get piercing. Any other racers want to vouch for that like Lockhab who can prove exactly what I just said? Because again, if you're wiggling it and you get it just slightly side to side, yeah, it'll break through that mask and technically becomes piercing at that point. Yes, I agree. So like I was saying, you're not wrong. I'm not like, oh, you're totally wrong. But I'm saying like you do not get that actual piercing effect where if you just launched it, that you would get that immediate hit as it went through the mask on that night. Doesn't work that way. Absolutely, we can. Give me one second here to see. I can spell. Ah, already beat me to it. Thank you, guys. There's that split link again to get in Moscow and Puffin's channels. Oops, sorry, Cap. Ugh, didn't know he was there. My bad. I guess that footrest just became mine accidentally. Sorry, Spaz. <laughs> Probably should have looked before I did that. About the small rock now on Moscow's side as well. Jeez, Kane's eye also proc for him, so a 25% chance on that trinket that you get the full compass reveal, and you can see Moscow's floor laid out kind of before him here. Small Rock also gives him damage increase, fire rate increase, which means less time to charge on a full throw of that knife. And again, he moves slightly slower. But now also picking up the Lucky Foot means that he's going to get nothing but good or neutral pill effects. Won't be able to see exactly what they are unless he's had the pill before. Uh, again, also much better luck as far as gambling goes. <clears throat> Excuse me again, sorry. Let's say you're gambling against a uh, purple slot machine. Pretty much going to win everything. So uh, you're in a pretty good spot here. And again, all about finding that boss fight. Which path leads over? Oh, wow, that's going to split back to the right. Are you serious with this floor? So it's the top one. All right. Yeah, he's basically Kane now. That's a random how you doing. Oh, I read that ass backwards. <laughs> Droop. Totally read that backwards. I just read the ass end of that and saw raid, so I figured it was you. <laughs> Can't even answer that. Well, anyways, I'm an idiot. What's up, who? How you doing? Hey, dude, one person coming in? That's still a rate of one person. So, last I checked, all everybody coming in counts, technically, so winning. 
And like I said, thank you very much in the first place. How you doing, man? All right, more money on Moscow's side. And again, let's see, do you just go ahead and bomb through? He's got 22. But looks like he's gonna back up and grab that heal, so not even gonna worry about bombing on through that seeker room. Again, good thing little Chad spawned in hearts all over the place for him, so he's got all sorts of hearts to make his way back for. But again, keeping that basically, we'll call it a full floor lead, if not floor and a half at this point lead on uh, 17 Puffins, as he knows exactly where he is going. Oh, don't even worry about it, Xenoxus. How you doing, man? Alright, so down to one heart on the uh, the left side for 17 Puffins, down to just two on Moscow's side. Though, again, holding on to one of his favorite cards, he gets to use his Unicorn Horn. So, again, especially against a boss fight, and again, keep in mind, he does have Little Chat. Both do have Little Chat, for that matter, and you saw the heals. But beside the point, there are a lot of heals coming from those guys. Either way, Moscow, very happy, he gets to use a Unicorn Horn at some point. He's going to do mass damage to a boss when he does. What's up, Luigi? How you doing? Hey, what's up, Gino? Good to see you guys. He already knew what that trip was, so technically that should turn into full health, you would think. Either way. Moving on. There we go. There is that damage. I was waiting for it. Waiting for the arm to pop out or one of those eyeballs, and you can see you can basically two-hit it. If Moss didn't have to throw that knife to take care of one extra enemy to make sure he'd be safe there, he would have two-hit Mom's foot. So I'll take that squeezy, two more soul hearts, two more out of that item rock. Also getting a little bit of fire rate increase, again, less charge time on throwing that knife full distance. And he'll be on down to the womb, keeping Kane's eye. Ooh, no luck this time. So that one in four chance does not pay off. No compass here. Again, Puffin's one more room here. He'll be on to his boss fight for uh, depths one. So again, basically two floor advantage now, well, floor and a half for uh, Moscow. And again, we got War for uh, 17 Puffins. That'll be his second cube of me coming out of this, which will turn into a uh, turn that one cube that he has orbiting around him into Meat Boy's head. And that'll fire out tears and still block shots. So again, one thing I'll point out, never use your Unicorn Horn or that Chariot card for that Unicorn Horn usage in the room that Mosk is in. Those hearts do not actually take damage from it. If you've got Orbitals, those will still hit it. You're invincible, technically, so you can just run right up and let the Orbitals do the work. Same thing with the knife. It would still work in the same aspect. But you're not actually going to damage the... Really, Mask? You're never going to damage those hearts with that actual Unicorn Horn, so just a little bit of a heads up for everybody. Save that if you're wondering, like, oh, jeez, you know, I need to get through this room quickly. Ain't going to help you, believe it or not. Well, it can, but not all the time. No, I know better than to, uh, to play a Nosh. <laughs> All right, Chris has lost again more added rooms onto this floor for 17 Puffins, but again, with that uh, compass now, knows exactly where he's headed. Doesn't have to worry about the offhand chance that Kane's eye provides. He actually has the item that he bought last floor. Again, find himself a dead end, though. This is one of the problems. You don't see all the room layouts, so you still have to make guesses. And sometimes, even though they may seem correct, obviously you go the wrong way. All 
Alright, that judgy card's still there for Puffins. Ooh, geez, no such luck. Also gonna grab him so well, actually might as well, I guess. Wow, one used demon judgy, and he gets the heart right back immediately. Also gets the mark out of it, so damage increase, one soul heart. And again, uh wow. <laughs> Just wow, seriously, thank you, Demon Judgy. We didn't even get a chance to ask for it, but thank you, Demon Judgy. Alright, also item room and boss fight here for Puffins to finish off the depths. Ah, yeah, vampire heals. Every 13 kills will get you a half a red heart heal. And Moss just still finding these uh these mass and heart rooms here in the other uh, womb one. Wonder how well that doesn't bode for the fact that you can actually have a mask of infamy fight in the womb. Speaking of that, let's find out what it is as Moss has found that boss fight on the other side of this door. Again, Red Mom for 17 Puffins, just chilling out right by the door here, letting all of his uh, followers do most of the work for him. Ooh, even easier. Teratoma for Moskill. One of the easier boss fights. I may actually just pop that Chariot card and just end this thing as quick as possible, because this can get a little nasty damage-wise. Again, with plenty of hearts, Moss plenty in the clear here. All right, a little more range up on the uh, the knife there from Mosk with the uh, mom's uh, heals. And again, moving on down to Womb 2, so one more boss fight to find for him. And again, no luck with Kane's eyes, so 75% chance that you don't get anything to happen with that trinket. And again, did not fire. Have yourselves an arcade, though, and again, a lot of extra hearts because of Chad laying around. So it's just a matter of finding that boss fight and puffing himself on Womb 1, again, making his way towards where he knows that boss fight to be. Just a matter of finding it. See you muted. Have yourself a good one, dude. Yeah, <laughs> good to see you again, Gina. By the way, Gina, are your mod uh, uh, buttons and such uh, showing up? Because, like, it seems to have been unmodding quite a few of my mods for some stupid reason, which I don't understand, but it looks like it did it to you, too. So out of curiosity, do you have your buttons? And again, Puffin's on over to that boss fight, so he's going to be catching up onto the womb, too, shortly here. And it's all a matter of Moss keeping himself alive and finding that boss fight, too. This definitely ain't over yet, guys. Yeah, you do? Okay, just ain't showing it on mine then. I was just making sure. Ooh, sun card for Puffins. That's going to give him a full map reveal on the next floor. So he's going to make a beeline for his boss fight again. But Mosk, as you see, picking up Pinky Eye. Now random chance that he throws a poison dagger. And again, right on into his mom's heart fight. So down to a heart and a half can only take one more hit. But again, already 5%, maybe a little bit more in there. So, ooh, down to that last half of heart, though, now on Moss' side. So get to the edge of your seat. This one's going to be a real close one. Again, working probably about 30, 35% of the way through Mom's heart at this point for Moss. And that knife going to do some serious damage for him here. Ooh, threw that uh, bomb just a little too far back. Skullock's just about dead for Puffins again, waiting on that map reveal to see just how much room he has to go here. And there's about that 50% mark on Moskill. Gonna drop more bombs through the center. Great placement there. That's gonna hit Mom's heart twice. Very nicely done. And rip through the uh, the Duke of Flies for that matter. Very good placement and timing. One more throw there. He's gonna just wait on this one. Ooh, ooh that got close. Mom's heart will stay out the rest of the time though and start taking pot shots at Moskill. Who's got maybe one, two more throws to go. And there's that one more throw. There's a unicorn horn for invincibility. And there's a two to nothing win. <laughs> Talk about your edge of the seat moments there. But whew, I was wondering when he was going to use that chariot card for the safety's sake.